We're here today on a beach taking a photograph. Why? Oh man, I'm like a kid on Smarties because I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, wrong way. Put the red on first rather than the black. Right, okay, so the time is now uh, one minute to eight. Uh, we set off at 5 a.m. Uh, to drive up to a little place called Cleverly, which is just north of Blackpool, um, to shoot this shell. It gets right in your lungs, that wakes you right up. Fresh, cool air. It's a bit chilly out there. just driven miles absolute miles to get here so I've driven all this way to ask you guys a question why the hell do we do it as photographers you set the alarm bright and early you know four o'clock this morning my alarm went off and I was thinking ah Christ this is way too early what the hell are you doing why do we do it why do we drive so far to take a photograph what the hell was that what the oh, I've got can you see that can you see that do we as photographers have it in our heads that we need to drive so far to take one photograph. Why just take one photograph? You're there for Christ's sake. Take more than one. Uh, eight spots. I've seen a photograph on the internet and I was thinking, hmm, that looks pretty cool. How many of you guys have done exactly the same? It is blowing a gale when we first arrived, and to be honest, we could hardly open the car door. I don't want to get out, and it starts to rain, and it's overcast, and you're thinking, this is insane. Why have I just driven all this way for this? Did you not check the weather this morning? It's barren, there's nobody about. The waves are crashing in. Unfortunately, you've missed time the tidal times. The tide's actually right out. It's not around where you want it to be. It's all gone wrong. Down on the beach, and get your camera out, you get your tripod out get your composition and obviously the sea's out so it's not the shot I wanted we've got this beautiful shell here this is St Mary's shell the shot I really wanted was to see cascading around the shell and I've seen the shot where you've got the reflections uh, into the water of the shell and it's just amazing it's a stunning photograph but we've rocked up and it's almost like an apocalypse the sea's gone right out and we're about four hours on now hello little doggy hello you what are you doing? You get your filters out and you put your filters in and just shoot. You take your photograph, you've got your shot. It's not the shot ideally you wanted, but then you're thinking, well, yeah, I've come all this way, I've got my photograph. You've driven 200 miles, 400 mile round trip for one photograph. Why do we do that? So you've now got your photograph and it is great. You're happy, you're skipping. So you put your camera back in your bag, your tripod goes away, your filters go away, you walk back up the steps, you go back to your car, put your bag back in the car, get in your car and you drive home. Stop. Why as photographers do we think that that is enough? Just taking one photograph. At the end of the day, we're not using film or some people still are using that. So for them, this is not really relevant. If you're using a digital camera, you could take hundreds. In fact, if you've got a really big memory card, you can take thousands of photographs. Why not look at different compositions? You've got different casts of sky. You've obviously got the waves out there. You might want to wait till the tide comes in. It will give you a completely different shot. So what I want to show you very, very shortly is different compositions that you can actually turn one photograph into 10, 15, 20 shots using different techniques. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so you've taken your first photograph, which is pretty much uh, this shot here, where you've got the shell just literally sitting on the beach. You may have gone slightly to your... Right. <laughs> you may have gone to your right. Um, in fact, let's just do that. Let's take you over here. About there. That may be the shot that you see online pretty much central, which is really cool because you can see the spirally, curly-whirly metal bits going through. And it's really nice because you've got the horizon on the background, so it breaks up the shot too. That's shot number one, but there's loads more shots you can take. There's another angle we can do, quite simple. We come in here and we're gonna basically lower our tripod. Right, hi guys. Um, right, you are now a little bit lower as you can see. So this gives you more foreground and less sky. We can tilt the camera up to 
give us more sky. So if you want the drag coming towards using filters, which looks really cool. Or if you imagine the tides in and we tilt it down like so, you'll have the tide around the base of the tripod. Uh, the other thing also with this shot is you can get some beautiful reflections of the shell uh, in the water as you can see here. So I think the key thing with this is when you're taking your photographs, I tend to do three things. Um, I'll first get my composition, um, then I might just take a natural shot. So that is just literally sticking the grad on the sky, having the shell in the background, uh, no drag on the sky, no long exposure shot, nothing like that. It is as it is and that's it. That looks really cool with a nice atmospheric sky. But then you can start using ND filters. So this is the third option. Now, using different ND filters, depending on the lighting you've got, you can get some really cool, different looking photographs. Now, if you were to put a free stop in, you're not gonna get much movement. It depends on how fast the clouds are going. Uh, and what you will get is a little bit of movement in the water. I quite like that shot. It's a really nice photograph. So next thing you're gonna do is stick a six stop in. This might give you eight to 10 seconds. Again, it depends on the lighting situation. Obviously it's a bright day. Your exposure level is gonna be a lot less. So it might come down to two, three seconds. So you've really got to compensate for that. But again, it gives you a different shot. What would normally happen there is you might start to see a little bit of drag in the sky. The the real difference will be in the sea because it will start to freeze it. Um, certainly when you start shooting for four to, four to 10 seconds, a little bit longer, it will freeze it. That will also bring out hopefully a reflection around the base of the uh, shell. Last option uh, is to use a 10 stop, 10 ND filter. Now, I only really like using those if um, the clouds are going very slowly. Uh, today, uh, it's pretty much flat, if I'm honest. It doesn't look cool. Um, but there have been other times when I've come here where you've got nice break white fluffy clouds, bit of blue sky, it looks stunning. Um, and also the sea, as I mentioned before, is around the base of the shell, which it isn't happening at the minute. So you need to be patient because to be honest, this sky already this morning has changed two or three times um, and obviously the tide's gonna come in. So again, you're getting even more photographs. So I think the real thing I need to get across here is you need to be patient, but at the same time, you need to be moving. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, location shoot, we love doing this sort of thing, so we're gonna be doing a lot more of these going forward, a lot more photography focused. Pardon the pun, see what I did there. Thank you for subscribing, and don't forget to leave a comment down below, because we love hearing from you. But for now, stay safe guys, to the pip.